Hello, my name is Adelina Popescu and I'm a data analyst at BT Provider. Today I'll show you how we can use measure names in parameter actions in Tableau. In this way we can compress the information in order to find out more information regarding one subject in just one dashboard. For, here, uh, for this we already connected to the global superstore data source offered by Tableau. And the first thing that we have to do is to drag the category on columns, on, on rows, sorry, and also to drag the subcategory on rows next to it. Now we have to drag the measure names from the dimensions area on columns, and also to drag the measure values from the measures areas on columns next to the measure names. And from uh, all these fields, we can keep only profit, quantity, and sales, and remove all, uh, all the other fields. We can um, drag the measure values on color, and also we can show mark labels from here. From the visualization type, I will choose entire view. Now I have to create another worksheet from here. Uh, we can um, name it um, Measure Evolution. Double click on it and type in Measures Evolution. Okay. And um, now we, uh, here we have to create a parameter named Select a Measure. From the data type, select String. And uh, from the allowable value, select List. And here type in profit, quantity, and sales. Then click OK. Now we have to create a calculated field named select a measure, selected measure, the formula. If select a measure is equal to profit, then profit. Else if select a measure is equal to quantity, then quantity. Else if select a measure is equal to sales, then sales. And, and then click OK. Now we have to drag the order date on columns and view it as year. And again, we have to drag the order date on columns, but in um, this time, we have to view it as month. Also, we can change the visualization type to the entire view. And now we have to drag the selected measures on rows, and we have to repeat this step again. Right-click on the second axis and select dual axis. Right click again on the new axis and select synchronize axis. For the first field, we have to um, uh, we have to uh, keep the visualization type automatic. And for the second field, we have to um, change the visualization type into circle. Also, we can um, drag the selected measures on colors and to show marks labels. Now we have to create a dashboard, drag a vertical container on it, and then drag the both of the sheets here. We can remove the color legends. And now we have to go to dashboard, actions, add actions, filter. From the source sh uh, sheet, select product and segment status, for the run action on select, target sheets, measure values, and uh, for the clearing the selection wheel, select exclude all values, then click OK. Now we have to add another action, click on here, and actions, change parameter, for the source sheet, select product and segment status, run action on select, for um, target parameters. Select the measure parameter and uh, from the field area, select measure names. Then click OK. 
And now when we uh, choose a category and the subcategory and we click on it, we can view in the bottom page uh, its evolution. Thank you for watching us and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.